Okay, welcome to Ear Training. Your first port of call if you're new to Ear Training is going to be Melodies for Intervals. So let's click on this tool. Now the purpose of this is to recognize the distance between tones or notes. And that's a very important skill to be able to have. It's called relative pitch. And often when you buy a book on relative pitch, which is the ability to hear the distance between tones, they're going to give you the melodies in the book and say, this melody, first couple of notes will give you the distance between the tones. Of course, then you have to go and find the melody. And if you don't know it, that's a pain. So what I've done is I've created a tool with the melodies so you can get used to the distance between two notes. So the first one you want to start is Jaws. Everybody knows the thing to Jaws. And if I click on this, it's like the distance of one fret on your guitar. Then we have the next interval, which is a major second. Happy birthday. Now those two intervals alone make up scales. So, uh, you know, scales are comprised of uh, minor seconds and major seconds. You know, especially our diatonic scales like Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, etc. Uh, the harmonic minor introduces a minor third interval, minor third, now this is a really cool song and Jeff Beck here plays a really good version of this song so check out that A Day in the Life by the Beatles it's an amazing tune the late Jeff Beck I should say then we have Augmented Fourth The Simpsons or Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix the perfect intervals, perfect fourth, is how you tune your guitar. And it's Here Comes the Bride. Now the first of all of these intervals, the first note is in C. So if you listen to these intervals enough, you get a pretty good idea of what C sounds like. Dum, da, 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 for example. <laughs> so perfect fourth is how your guitar is tuned, except for the distance between the G and the B string which is a major third, which is Stevie Wonder. Thanks, Stevie. So you have all these ascending intervals to get used to, and also the descending intervals. For example, a perfect fourth would be O Come All Ye Faithful. Uh, we've got Perfect Fifth, which is a Flintstones. <laughs> then you have uh, Major Third, which is Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, or Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Very good. So these are melodies for intervals. Very important to understand and learn. Eventually, with enough practice, these intervals won't be related to the melodies. They'll just be known intrinsically. Uh, so this is a great place to start if you want to really get your ear supercharged. And as we know, music is a hearing art.